Ready? Yeah. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to show you guys how to change a steering gearbox input shaft seal on a 1987 Ford E150. First, the tools that you're going to need are a rubber mallet, a Phillips screwdriver, a 118 socket that fits through the input shaft and touches the seal, or anything else that fits, as long as it does, as long as it can go through it and touch the seal, and a small screwdriver, and a drill. And you would also need the input shaft seal kit. It's called a power steering repair kit, and I got from Edelman. You would also need transmission fluid for installation of the seal. So now I'm going to show you guys my way to remove the input shaft seal. First, you're going to need to hammer through here with a small screwdriver, a strong screwdriver. It doesn't matter if you break it as long as you don't nick the input shaft. So once you hammer it through, you'll probably see it'll look like this. It's easier if you nick through or hammer through where the plastic is because it's easier. So what you want to do is you want to pry it up after you do that. It should be slightly easy like that. Then you'll see a C-clip. So what you need for a C-clip is you need a needle nose plier, kind of small like this. Go through here, pinch it in. Make sure it doesn't spring back. Okay, like that. <laughs> Then you need to drill two holes through here with the drill. Make sure you don't drill through and, hit and contact the surface below. Then what you need is you need two screws. These two screws are going to go through in here. And what you're going to do is, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. and screw it in and make sure it's on both sides because it's going to push it up on one side and you want to push it up on the other side so it comes out evenly or as even as you can get it so keep doing that and it's going to push it out And voila, that's how you get your seal out very easily. So you unscrew it, and I'm just going to show you guys how I would install it with the old one first. Just as demo. I'm going to show you, you're going to put transmission fluid on this seal here, you're going to put it in here, you're going to use the socket, put it in here, and you're going to hammer it. So it goes all the way in, it should stop where the surface is. The reason why you want a socket that fits through is so that you get an even amount of force applying on the seal, so I won't go in on a cockeyed angle. Then what you want to do is you want to install the C-clip, which is right here. So what you want to do is put it here. And then use your needle nose plier. Actually, you should put it on the table. Do it. it should be easier that way. Okay. Then. This is usually the most annoying part. Usually, the C clip.
Okay, I didn't like that. Then you put the last one on. Like that. And you can, if you want, use this and just hammer it a little bit. And it should stop where the C-clip is. Just make sure it's going to be level. And that's how you would install your steering gearbox input shaft seal. Thank you. And please subscribe. <laughs>